ship sails too high, too high, too high, too high, too high, too high. The big ship sails too high, too high, and yes, the answer to sing a blue. Exciting, romantic, Italy, South America, India. The big ship was leaving Bombay today, back to the Isle of Man, so they say. Scylla was standing with tears in her eyes when along came the captain and said in surprise, Darling, oh darling, be mine. I'll send you a sweet valentine. He turned round to kiss me. I ducked and he missed me. The big ship was leaving Bombay today. Look, the singing kettle's been on its travels too. Lots and lots of stickers. In fact, I've just been down to Kettle Station to pick it up. That's good, Artie, because I was worried that you might not be able to find the parcel office, but you found it okay. Not too bad. You go right into the station, second left, third right, first left again, and it's on the right of the left luggage office. Let me see if I can remember that. You go right into the station, second left, third right, door on the left, right? Wrong, I'm afraid. You know, this reminds me of a rhyme that we do back in Kettle. It goes like this. I left my luggage in the left luggage office and the right ticket too. But the luggage that I left in the left luggage office was the right place to leave it. What on earth am I to do? Oh, I wonder if I could remember that. Let me see. goes, I left my luggage in the left luggage office and the right ticket too. But the luggage that I left in the left luggage office was the right place to leave it. What on earth am I to do? Oh, so you got it right! Yeah! <laughs> well, I think we'll open the singing kettle now. Do you have any scissors or shall I just tear off the paper? Or you don't what? need to have scissors to open a singing kettle. You just need to say the rhyme. Of course. Do it with me. Here we go! Two clues to the next song. Here's the first one. Oh, a broken glass. I don't know a song about a broken glass. And I don't think you even want to see the other clue that's inside here. I can smell it from here. 
It's a horrible old shoe. A song about a broken glass and a horrible old shoe. I can't think of one. No, I can't think of anything. Oh, wait a minute, Scylla. The train driver's hat for the train to Glasgow, isn't it? That's right, that's right. One for you too, look. Oh. Because that's what the clues are. Oh, they must be wrong, surely. No. Very simple. Look, that is a trainer. If you take away the ER, you're left with a train. Our kettle parcel came second class. And this glass is broken, so it has to go. Train to glass. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Shove your granny off a bus, but you can sing with a singing kettle. And there's a clue to the next song inside here. But we have to say, oh, the rhyme together to get this lid off. Everybody ready? Here we go. Good. That was. Oh. oh. You know, Artie and I live in a village called Kettle, and there's something in here that people in Kettle wear on their head. Must be a hat. No, 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 no. They wear these to listen to music. Oh, easy. Earphones. Just about right. Kettle phone. Oh. <laughs> you plug in kettle phones? In the kettle. <laughs> exactly right. This is my kettle blaster. <laughs> this isn't music though. No, this isn't music. What is I don't it? Know what it is? I haven't yet. I've got a clue. Sounds like a lot of nonsense actually. A lot of nonsense? I know what it is. It's the clues to the nonsense song inside the kettle here. And what I'll do is open the lid and let out one at a time. And when you hear it, you can guess what it is. Here's the first one. No! Oh, sure. oh, there's lots of different kinds of dogs, haven't there? Well, I've heard an Alsatian bark. Woof! I've heard a bulldog bark. Woof! I've heard a collie dog bark. Woof! I've heard a chihuahua bark. Woof! I've heard a Doberman bark. I've heard a poodle bark, but I've never heard a tree bark. A tree bark. Sing that. A tree bark. No, I never heard a tree bark. You know why this is a nonsense song? You've got to try and guess the last line of each verse. So here's another clue for you. Somebody opening a door. I've used a front door key. I've used a back door key. I've used my car key. I've used a garage key. I've used a cupboard key. I've used a drawer key. But I've never used a monkey. A monkey. Sing that. A monkey. No, I never do. I've used a phone dial, I've used a watch dial, I've used a clock dial, I've used a compass dial, I've used a speedometer dial, I've used a sun dial, but I've never used a crocodile. <laughs> a crocodile, a crocodile, no I never used a crocodile. Here's another clue. That's terrible. I've heard a boy scream. I've heard a girl scream. I've heard a man scream. I've heard a woman scream. I've heard a loud scream. I've heard a louder scream. But I've never heard an ice cream, an ice cream, an ice cream. No, I never heard an ice cream. Sing again, an ice cream, again, an ice cream. No, I never heard an ice cream. 
Kettle Fashion Show. And we've got some boys and girls here that are going to model the silly things that people wear to bed at night in Kettle. I think I know a boy. I think his name is Fred. I think he goes to bed at night with jelly on his head. Jelly on his head. Jelly on his head. This one. I think I know another boy. His name is Jock Mackay. I think he goes to bed at night with donuts on his eyes. Donuts on his eyes. Donuts on his eyes. On his eyes. How can he sleep at night with donuts on his eyes? Here's somebody else, very, very strange. I think I know this girl. I think her name is Claire. I think she goes. Over the mountain, the fox came over the mountain to see what he could see. But all that he could see, but all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain. Was all that he could see. Animal beginning with F. Oh, I know. The fox came over the mountain, the fox came over the mountain. To
see what he could see. But all that he could see, but all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he, all that he, all that he could see. bottom of the mountain there was a jungle and it was a very busy day in the jungle because it was wash day and I wonder if you can recognize our jungle animals with no clothes on Ooh. and the first one to do the washing usually wears a hairy suit and likes to eat bananas which one is it here is it this one this one this one this one, or this one? singing kettle. Will you help me? Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, there's something in here to eat that's orange. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I no something that's orange and crunchy. Oh, a carrot. Look at that. A carrot that size. I know, Scylla. The most dangerous animal in the forest. Little Bunny Fufu. And here he comes, hop, hop, hopping. Hop with me. That's the idea. Little Bunny Fufu, hopping through the forest. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little Bunny
gonna turn you into a goon. So the very next day, little bunny fit hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, little bunny. for me using letters of the alphabet. Just shout out what's on Scylla's boards. Question number one. What is my name? Artie. Correct. Artie. <laughs> and who's going to sing the next song? You are Artie. Oh, yeah, I am. And will you help me? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> and are there any letters of the alphabet in this song? O S. And what are they? C C C. Because the song is My Father Went to C C C. And Silla, could you give me a hand with this? I can give you two hands because this is a clapping rhyme. And you can help too. My father went to C C C to see what he could see. inside this singing kettle. Will you say the rhyme with me to open it? Yeah. Here we go! <laughs> Don't wear spectacles, no. They wear... Ketticles! <laughs> yeah! Where did you get these? In the quartermaster stores. But why do you need glasses? My eyes are dim. What do you mean? I cannot see. Why? I have not brought my specs with me. Pardon? I have not brought my specs with me. That's the chorus to this song. I want you to sing along and do the actions. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. There's lots of other funny things in the quartermaster store. So sing along and do all the actions in the store. For there were chips and chips. The size of battleships in the store. In the store. In the store. In the store. There were chips and chips. The size of battleships in the quartermaster store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. There were bees.
exciting things going on in Kettle. I mean, just the other night we had a dancing competition. You'll never guess who won. Yeah. Me? No. Gary? No. The winner had a hundred legs. She danced us off the floor. You're absolutely right. It was the wee Kirkubri centipede. The wee Kirkubri centipede was very, very sweet. She was ever so proud of every one of her hundred feet. Early every morning, her neighbors came to glance. She always entertained them with a beautiful little dance. As leg number 94 gave 95 a shunt. A leg number 1 and 2 were twisting out in front. A leg number 9 and 10 were wriggling up the side. 73, 74 were doing the poly glide. was mad. She went out and bought herself a pencil and a pad. She came a month of mornings and made a careful note of every step the centipede made and this is what she wrote. A legs number 94 gave 95 a shunt. A legs number 1 and 2 were twisting out in front. A legs number 9 and 10 were wriggling up the side. 73, 74 were doing the pally glide. Shin bones, 14 kneecaps and an ankle As legs number one and two were tied to me and four Legs number five and six were trampled on the floor Leg number 15 was attacked by number 10 97, 98 will never dance again The weaker Kubri said to me She suffered terrible pain But some of us were very surprised she ever danced again she tells her neighbors, everyone who calls to see, never try an explanation of what comes naturally. That's like number 94, give 95 a shunt. Legs in number one and two, twisted out to front. Legs in number nine and ten, we're wriggling up the side. 73, 74, we're doing the poly a travelling kettle. It's been all round the world. But I don't know who this belongs to. Artie, do you know? I think I do. It must be Auntie Anne's. You know, the one she takes on holiday with her. Oh, let's get the lid off because it's great. She always brings us back. No, not yet. What are you saying? 
Oh, you want me to say the rhyme to get the lid off? Well, that's a good idea. Spout handle lid of metal, what's inside the singing kettle? That one. Yeah. All right, let's do it all together. Here we go. <laughs> Spout handle lid of metal, what's inside the singing kettle? Oh, you were right. Oh, yes, it is, Auntie Anne's. And all the presents rhyme with where she's been. Last month, she went to Leith, Silla. To Leith, yes. She went to Leith, and what did she bring back from Leith? What rhymes with Leith? Yeah, you're right. A pair of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go next? Then she went to the Orient. She went to Bangkok. What did she bring back from there? What rhymes with Bangkok? Oh, a stick of rock. <laughs> Where did she go after that, Salam? So oh, she went to Budapest. What could rhyme with Budapest? <laughs> yeah, you're right. A spring vest. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, these were the kettle clues for this song, which is all about all the other presents that Auntie Anne brought back. Sing along with us and do all the actions. Oh, my aunt came back, oh, my aunt came back from far Japan, from far Japan, and brought with her, and brought with her, a waving fan, a waving fan. That's it, everybody wave the fan. You can sing to from far Japan, a waving fan, from far Japan, a waving fan. Then she went to Russia. Oh, my aunt came back. Oh, my aunt came back from old Moscow. From old Moscow. And brought with her. And brought with her. A red yo-yo. A red yo-yo. Okay, do the yo-yo and sing. From old Moscow. A red yo-yo. And from far Japan. A waving fan. That's both of them. Very good. Then she went to Ireland. Oh, my aunt came back. Oh, my aunt came back. From County Clare. From County Clare. And brought with her. And brought with her. A rocking chair. A rocking Everybody chair. Everybody, rock in your chairs and sing along with me. From County Clare. A rocking chair. Again, from, from County, County Clare. Clare. A rocking chair. From old Moscow. A red yo yo. And from far Japan. A waving fan. Green can be. Hear 
the pirates squawking. Hear the pirates squawking, squawking, squawking. Let me hear you squawking. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? I deep down in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. I deep down in the jungle, as green as green can be. Hear the wolves all howling. Hear the wolves all howling, howling, howling. Let me hear you howling. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? I deep down in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. I deep down in the jungle, as green as green can be. Hear hyenas laughing. Hear hyenas laughing, laughing, laughing. Let me hear you laughing. <laughs> We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? I deep down in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. I deep down in the jungle, as green as green can be. Cause we're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? Safari. Yes, we've been on safari deep in the jungle where everything's green. Even the kettles. And what we want you to do is help get the lid off so we can check out what the next clue is. Will you help us? Yeah! Here we go! Spout, handle, lid off metal. What's inside the singing? Oh, well done. Oh, Scylla, there's something in here for you. For me? A surprise. Come a little closer. What do you think? Yeah! Okay. Scylla, shut your eyes. What do you think? Yeah! Just for you, close my eyes. Put out your hand, Scylla. Oh, wait a minute. There's something in here that I found in the jungle. In the jungle. It's long. Long? It's green. Green. It's wriggly. Wriggly. And it makes you jump. Wrong green wriggly makes you jump. It must be a snake. No, no, I don't like snakes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a snake. A skipping rope makes you jump, see? <laughs> well, it gives me a chance to do my jumpy jungle rhymes that I learned from Tarzan. <laughs> Down in the jungle, living in a tent, better than a kettle, no rent. Down in the jungle, swinging through the trees, would you like a coconut? Yes, please. Tarzan wears a sporty vest, he got it from his granny. Tarzan wants to leave it off his granny, says he can. Like that. Let me keep these safe for you in the kettle here. Oh. What was that? Let's Hello. listen again. <laughs> I think you were right. I think it was a duck this time. Have another listen. Okay. <laughs> a kangaroo. It's a funny name, that, isn't it? Very a funny. kangaroo, of course. The clue for the song. All about the names that we give to animals. And you can help us sing it. Clap your hands as well. We gave names to all the animals in the beginning, in the beginning. We gave names to all the animals in the beginning, long time ago. On its back, hooves on its feet. Live 
lived up on the mountainside so steep. Oh, what will we call it? What will we call it? What will we call it? I think we'll call it a sheep, a sheep, a sheep, yeah. Sea, a bottle of rum to fill my tongue. 
castaways. Yes, here we are. We've come over the Irish Sea and we've landed up on a desert island. And because we've landed here, we've called it Kettle Island. Oh, look what I found. Oh, yeah. A treasure map. Artie. Yeah? Look, follow these directions. Look, go one pace to the right. One pace to the right. One pace back. One pace back. Yeah. One pace to the left. One pace to the left. And then one pace forward. And one pace forward. And that's where the kettle treasure is. Well, I'm back where I started. Oh, get digging, get digging. Oh, all right, then. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, wait a minute. There is something here. Oh. It's a buried kettle treasure! Oh, yeah! It's all sparkly! Wow! The lid's very stiff. I know, we have to say the singing kettle rhyme to get it open. Will you help me? Spout hand the lid of metal, what's inside the singing kettle? Ready? Here we go! Something to eat in here. Something, Something to eat. I don't like. Can you guess what it is? Oh, he doesn't like fish. Sausages, is it? Or liver? Um, no, no. It? It's monkey food. Monkey. Oh, monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. Peanuts, Peanuts no. Peanuts. Desert Island. What? Yeah, you're right. A banana. Artie, do you love bananas? Well, I used to like bananas. Do you like bananas? Yeah. But I wonder if you'd still like them if you had them for your breakfast, your dinner, your supper, and your tea. I'm fed up with bananas. It's all we get round here. You know, I've been dreaming of a slap-up meal, a fancy nosh, something unusual. Waitress. I know you're very hungry. Here to order up some food? They'd like to have a starter. Something light, but something good. I thought I'd serve you melon or some more exotic fruits. So I've gone and picked a luscious pair. A pair of welly boots. You're ready for your main course? Was it chicken meat or fish? Really doesn't matter? Well, I'll just fill up your dish. You want a double helping? You're in a hurry, just can't wait. Well, here's the fastest fish we've got. They call it roller skate. <laughs> and now it's time for afters. Dessert is on its way. Was it cake, ice cream or gato? You only have to say, I know your favorite pudding usually wobbles in a dish. Here's a different kind of jelly just for you. Jellyfish! <laughs> now, dining out's expensive. It can cost you such a lot. Crackers, cheese and coffee. You ate everything I brought. And now it's time to pay the bill. You'll be glad you did. This should really cost a fortune. But I'll only charge a squid! <laughs> All about food. Oh, it's made me quite hungry. Mmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Silla, what? I've been fishing. How did you guess? <laughs> uh, fish for tea then. Oh, no. You're not getting to eat this fish. Because oh. I'm going to make lots of different things from this. And some of the boys and girls here are going to let you see exactly what you can make from a herring. Loaves of breed, hens eat loaves of breed and all sorts of things. Of all the fish that swim in the sea, the herring is the fish for me sing. Fa la la la, do fa la la la, do fa la la la, do la la Now what'll we do with the herring's eyes? Oh, what'll we do with the herring's eyes? Well, we'll mack them into puddings and pies, herring's eyes. Loaves of feed and all sorts of things Of all the fish that swim in the sea The herring is the fish for me sing Fa-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
Specialists are bones when you ought to see his feet. Stamps on all the people as he walks along the street. Bunions on his fingers, bunions on his toes. One day he lost his whistle, he had to blow his nose. Sing, Polly Molly, diddle all the diddle all the diddle all. Polly Molly, diddle all the diddle all the day. Join in the chorus if you've any time to spare. Clap, 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 clap. Do anything you dare. Woo! Polly Molly, diddle all the day. Oh, what we got here? A plane, let's see if it'll fly. might have gone further if we'd had a pilot. We do have a pilot. He's called Wingo. Oh, Wingo was a pilot, a captain of the sky. Flew each day to Istanbul, just watch Wingo by. One day in an emergency, came down on his head. Said his wings were awful tired, he had to go to bed. And sing, Polly Wally diddle all the diddle all the diddle all. Polly Wally diddle all the diddle all the day. Join in the chorus if you've any time to spare. Clap hands, stamp feet, do anything you dare. Woo! Polly Molly doodle all the day. Hey, this is what I call a lollipop. We've got a lollipop lady in kettle. She's called Lily. Lily had the lolly, not the kind she wants to eat. The one that stops the cars and buses driving down the street. Her lolly, it went crazy when I think she said, flip and flop and bounce around and whack me on the head. Woo! Everyone sing, Polly Wally diddle all the diddle all the diddle all, Polly Wally diddle all the diddle all the day. Join in the chorus if you've any time to spare. Clap hands, stand feet, do anything you dare. Woo! Polly Wally diddle all, Polly Wally diddle all, Polly Wally diddle all the day. It is, but take off the shade, Silla. What do you think? The singing kettle! Give them a cheer! Hey! Well, let's get the lid off and find out what's inside. You know how to do it. You say the rhyme with us. Spout handle, lid of metal. What's inside the singing kettle? Here we go! <laughs> Silla, what is it? A bottle in here. Oh. Perfume? Perfume bottle. Oh, let's see. Oh! Oh, that's not perfume. It's camphorated oil. Eh. Oh, I know what we can do. Put your hands like this and go. Eh, 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 Oh, your song's called Camphorated Oil. Oh. And we want you to do the actions with us. Do this. John Brown, the baby, he's got a cold on his chest. So he rubbed it with camphorated oil. Join in the whole way through if you can. Goes like this. John Brown's baby's got a cold upon his chest. John Brown's baby's got a cold upon his chest. Oil as well. Oh, right. 
All together, go. John Brown's got up a ponies. John Brown's got up a ponies. John Brown's got up a ponies. So we shh. shh, shh. Come for them, for them, for them.